think I'm in space. I think I'm in space. Very good. So tell me what happens in space. What do you see? Look yeah. around you. There's a ship. There's a ship. Mm -hmm. big, Describe it for me. It's a. It's like a big. It's a big spaceship. There's a lot of people on it. Mm -hmm. I'm outside it right now. Okay. So how do you get inside of this ship? I think. I think I just float into it. Mm -hmm. So as you float into this ship, what does it look like inside? Everything is very smooth. Mm -hmm. It's very. It's a lot of bright lights inside. Where do these lights come from? From the ceiling, and mm -hmm. the walls. Mm -hmm. There's people shuffling about. Everyone's. Everyone's doing their business. Mm -hmm. What do these people look like? I don't know if they're humans or not. They mm -hmm. look. They look humanoid. Mm hmm. Are there any of them that catch your attention? There's one that... They seem to have weird shaped heads. Mm-hmm. What kind of sh weird shaped is it? It's like, uh, they're... It's big, big heads mm -hmm. with, uh, eyes of, like, the top corners of them. Like, uh... Very, it's very strange. Mm -hmm. um, it's shaped like a, I don't know. It's not. It's not. It's not a normal round head. It's it's big and expanded. Mm -hmm. Is it expanded on the top or the bottom? On the top. Mm -hmm. On the top, and then it has a big crown to it. Mm -hmm. What does the mm -hmm. nose and mouth look like? It has not much nose and mouth. Mm -hmm. The skin is kind of white and gray and bluish overtones. Mm -hmm. And they're, I don't, I don't know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Are they wearing anything in particular? They're wearing uniforms. Mm -hmm. What color are the uniforms? The uniforms are gray. Mm -hmm. Gray or blue. With a white stripe on them. Mm -hmm. And there's just one that I'm that I'm looking at. Mm -hmm. The one that you're looking at, does it seem like it's male or female? Seems androgynous. Mm -hmm. Has a tail. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about this one that you're looking at? Like it knows me? Mm hmm. He's got a clipboard. Mm hmm. Let's find out how he knows you. How does he know me? Mm hmm. I'm working with him. Mm hmm. So take a look at your own body and see what you look like there on that ship. I've got the same. I look like him. Mm hmm. My skin is gray. Grayish blue. Mm hmm. It doesn't feel like human skin. It's really smooth. It's smooth. It's very smooth. Do you feel male or female? Or a. Is it androgynous too? I think it's androgynous. Mm -hmm. Or like non sexed. Non sex, very good. Are you wearing the same thing? Yeah. Mm hmm. So let's find out what it is that you do on that ship. What are you working with this uh, other job. being with? We're looking at Earth. Mm hmm. The ship is around the Earth. I think I'm... I run 
missions for them. You run missions for them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What makes you special that you run these missions? Why you and not others? Because I volunteered for it. Ah. Uh -huh. Do you enjoy these missions? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what I that's what I chose. Mm -hmm. So let's find out as you're looking at Earth, what do you see? A lot of pain. A lot of pain. Do you feel it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're trying to... We're trying to manage it or something. Mm-hmm. Let's find out more. <sighs> Where is this pain coming from? Is it from the earth itself or the inhabitants? The inhabitants? Mm -hmm. What's happening to the inhabitants of the earth? Fighting. They're fighting? They're fighting. Mm -hmm. They're fighting with each other. They're fighting over earth. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? <laughs> mm -hmm. It hurts. It hurts. <laughs> Do the others on the ship feel the same way as you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where is it that your ship comes from? Is it from Earth? No. It comes from another star. Another star. Another star. So why is it that you have been called on this mission to Earth if you're coming from another star? Because everything's here. Mm -hmm. Everything's happening here. Tell me more about that. What's happening on Earth? There's others. There's others fighting for it too. Mm -hmm. Who are the others that are fighting for it? I don't know. Are they human? Some of them. Mm -hmm. No. No. <laughs> They're fighting over the humans. They're fighting over the humans. They're fighting over the humans. Are these from other stars also? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can you identify who these are that are fighting over them? Is it one group or many? <sighs> I don't know all of them. What do they look like? And reptilians. Reptilians. They're scaly and green. Mm -hmm. Have you seen them yourself? <laughs> they have malice in their hearts. Mm -hmm. But they're not evil. They have malice in their heart, but they're not evil? Yeah, I don't mm -hmm. know. It's confusing. Mm hmm. What else? Who else is fighting over the inhabitants of the earth? Or the earth? There's... We're overseeing. We're not fighting. Mm -hmm. We're overseeing it. <laughs> it hurts. Mm -hmm. Where is your ship in comparison to the Earth? It's in orbit. In orbit. I'm looking at the planet. Mm -hmm. Can the inhabitants of Earth see your ship? No. How can they not see it if you're right They're there? Out of phase. Out of phase. Put her right there. Mm -hmm. So what do you do to help oversee the earth? What do I do? Whatever they ask me to. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so let's find out 
what they ask you to do. I'd like for you now to close this scene and be at the scene when they are asking you or telling you about your new mission. It's a document. A document. To keep records. Mm hmm. No one knows what to do. Or. What does this document say? People's hearts. People's hurts. People's souls. What they're doing. Mm -hmm. The choices they're making. Does, do these documents contain all of the souls on Earth? It's like a... It's like a matrix. Mm -hmm. It's a crystalline matrix. That remembers. Tell me more about that. We're trying to figure out what's happening on Earth, and we're confused, and we don't know. We don't know the situation. We're trying to figure it out. That's why we're documenting what people are choosing and doing in their hearts. Mm -hmm. How many are you on this team? A few dozen? Mm -hmm. A few dozen, not many. There's a lot more on the ship, but this is this is where I work. Mm -hmm. <sighs> what else happens on this ship? Are there others doing other things? I don't know everything that happens here. Mm. You just know your job? I know my job, and we all trust each other. Okay. So let's find out what decisions you we, make. We have love for Earth, but we don't intervene. Mm -hmm. We're just here to watch. Here to document. We we are not the ones who intervene. Mm -hmm. Who are the ones that intervene? Some of the others. Mm -hmm. The other humans. We're not humans. We don't intervene. Mm -hmm. Where are these other humans that intervene? Inside the Earth. Okay. Are you in con connection with them? Yes. How do you communicate with them? Telepathically. Okay. So let's find out about your particular mission. How do you intervene and help the Earth? since you can't be on it. And talk. Mm -hmm. and give information to the other humans and give them advice. Mm -hmm. In what manner do you do this? Directly. Mm -hmm. Just directly. They just receive, they receive images, they receive knowledge. Mm -hmm. And it's their choice what to do with it. It's not mine. Mm -hmm. Do you have a name? I can't say it. I don't know how to say it. Is there a way that you can spell it that sounds? Lock. Lock. That's Lock. Something like that. Mm hmm. I can't say it in human mm -hmm. tongue. Mm -hmm. Do you speak when you're on the ship? No. It's all telepathic. It's all telepathic. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what happens to you. Do you connect with others or do you ever incarnate? I connect. I'm mm -hmm. always connected. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. Mm -hmm. Who are you connected to now? I'm connected. I'm connected to Brian. Mm. And is Brian chosen by you? Yeah. 
Okay, let's find out how you chose Brian. What happened to make that agreement for you to connect with Brian? We already agreed before. We agreed before he was incarnated. Mm -hmm. So did you know Brian before? Yes. Yeah. Okay, can you tell me what happened? Brian volunteered. Mm -hmm. Was he one of yours? No, he volunteered to us to be a connection. He's one of the humans. He's one of the humans. We talked to you. Okay. And did he do this connection while he was still in spirit form? Yeah. Okay. So there's some sort of a contract. Yes. All right. So let's find out a little bit about the contract that Brian has and what he's supposed to be doing on Earth. Can you tell me about that? He already knows. Mm hmm he already knows what he's supposed to be doing. So, can you repeat it for me? He's supposed to deliver new energy. The new, the new energy. Mm -hmm. He wants to help the earth. And we just give him, give him knowledge. He makes all the choices. Mm -hmm. He's the one that's doing this. Mm -hmm. We're just advising. You're just advising. So he's doing it, but you're advising. Yeah. So how is it that he connects to this information that's flowing from you? He's in phase with it. He just, he's, in, when he's in phase, he's connected and he can receive it. Mm -hmm. Now, when he is receiving information from you, where does his higher self come in? It's up to him whether he listens. Mm. So you told me that he's here to bring in the new energy. What kind of new energy are we talking about? Awakened energy. Awakened energy. Well, he says that he's been on a roll these past few months with synchronicities. That's the energy. That's the energy. So this energy of awakening, is it all about synchronicities? That's a symptom. That's a symptom. So can you tell me what the energy actually feels like? It feels... It feels effortless. Effortless? Mm-hmm. There's no... There's no in or out. There's just the energy. Mm-hmm. So when one is in the flow of this energy, how, how would one be? Are we manifesting ourselves? Manifesting divine flow. Ah. And it flows through. And we dissolve. What do you dissolve? We dissolve into it and we become it. Ah. So when we are in the flow, do we physically change? Or is mm. it just our way of being? No, it's just our way of being. Mm-hmm happens through the body. Okay. What does the body feel? The body. The body registers all. The body is already doing it. Mm. It's already all there. Well, he wants to be better at this flow. He's already fine at it. He's fine at it. <laughs> He's already fine at it. So why is it that he has such issues with energy? He tells me that he is so tired all the time. If he's in the flow of this, why would he be tired? Well, that's the way he was. Mm. He's doing fine at it now. He is. Yeah. He tells me that he has to sleep a lot. He does. Mm -hmm. Why does he have this body need so much sleep? If he's in the flow of this energy. That's when he goes and connects. 
X with, I don't know, that's outside of, it's when he goes off and does whatever he does. Ah, so you have nothing to do with no. what he does in his sleep. No, I don't think so. Only when he's awake. Yeah. Okay. So what is the kind of stuff that you are giving him? Is this what he is writing his PhD on? I'm giving him energy. Mm -hmm. He translates it into human speak. Okay. So, when we first started talking, you said that you were there to help the Earth. How is Brian helping the Earth with this energy, this connection of yours? He is trying to translate the energy. Mm -hmm. The more... I the more it gets expressed and translated, the more it filters into the humans. It's the humans that that need it. The earth is fine. Mm -hmm. It's the humans. So he is here to try to get this information to the humans? It's the humans. Mm -hmm. Well, he seems to be have locked into a vision of science and psychology during this lifetime. He already knows. How can he best use this work? He already knows. He knows. Can you remind him of what that is? <laughs> Do the work. Do the work. He knows He knows how to express it. It's not mm -hmm. what we do. It's not what you do. That's not what we do. Mm -hmm. we do. We do the energy. We give him the energy. Is yeah. there anything else that Brian has volunteered for with all of you? He needs to meditate more. Mm -hmm. That's when we can really open up a flow. He doesn't meditate enough. Is he distracted? Yes. Okay. So what's keeping him distracted? His little triflings. Mm -hmm. Little triflings. Is there anything that you do? To encourage him mm. to meditate? No, that's no. not that's not what we do. That's you just give him the that's energy. That's not what we do. That's not us. Okay, good. Can you tell me a little bit more about your group of people and how they're helping the earth? We're helping the universe. You are. By documenting what's happening on Earth. And being at the front row seat for people to see. Because mm -hmm. it's important. Tell me why. How is Earth affecting the entire universe? Because it's It's not our place to judge. Mm -hmm. We don't judge. We're people. And people here are going through a transition mm -hmm. that there's war over. There's war over who, the, who humankind on Earth will turn into. We don't participate in that war. Mm -hmm. We're gathering information for those who wish to see to see. It's important. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. Now you're saying that there's a war. Are these humans that are controlling the other humans? It's lots of, lots of beings want to fight over the Earthlings. Mm -hmm. We don't fight. You just document. You just document. Mm -hmm. Now I know that you're not judging and you won't judge these other beings, but how is it that these beings have been allowed to manipulate free these humans? Free will. Mm. The humans have allowed it? We've all allowed it. Mm. It's the nature of free will. A lot of people don't like that. We don't judge. Mm -hmm. Is free will all over the universe, or is no. it only on Earth? Only in certain realms. Okay. Only in certain realms. Some think it's too dangerous to be in other realms. Mm -hmm. Where you come from, is there free will? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. 
Yeah. Yes. So is that why you resonate more with Earth? Yes, that's why we're interested in what's going on here. Mm -hmm. Has anything like this happened in your star system? No. No, what's going on on Earth is important for all, mm -hmm. even if they don't know it. How does Earth affect the others? How is it that our choices here on Earth affect so many? It's a waypoint through which many things pass. Mm -hmm. Many things pass through Earth. Many beings pass through Earth. Where Earth goes, many follow. We don't judge. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything else to tell us about our transition at this time on Earth that others would benefit from hearing? Those who think they can control it, you can't control it. That's where we know all of this fighting, they think they can control it. They can't control it. That's why we don't fight. But we don't judge. Mm -hmm. It's for them. They're all learning. And this energy that you are channeling through Brian, is it reaching other people? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. How does that happen? the same way it does through Brian. Mm -hmm. It just happens. It's directly. Mm -hmm. They don't know it comes from us. Who do they think it comes from? They don't know. Mm. Are there many that have volunteered to work with you? Oh, yes. People like us because we don't take a side. Mm -hmm. We just give information. They respect us for that. Mm -hmm. Many respect us for that. So how many here on Earth are being guided by you at this time? We have 3,000 direct connections mm -hmm. and many more auxiliary connections. And Brian is one of them? I work with 3,000. Okay. The others are the others. Mm -hmm. I have 3,000 connections. Mm -hmm. And can you connect with them all at the same time? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do they know that they have this connection? Some of them have their suspicions. Mm -hmm. Brian has his suspicions. Mm -hmm. But it's not our place to reveal ourselves. Mm -hmm. So how is it today that we discovered you? Was that part of the plan? Yes, Brian asked. Mm -hmm. So we told him. Mm -hmm. And since we have your attention now, and I know you don't judge, is there a message that you would like to give humanity at this time? We don't give messages. Okay. We don't give freely messages. That's not what we do. And you ask us for information, we give information. Mm -hmm. We don't tell you what to do with the information. Okay. Is there any information that would benefit humanity at this time uh, regarding this energy? Well, you don't know. It's not for us. Okay. Is it possible for you to send energy through Brian at this time for others to feel. Yes. All right. Would you do that now? What sort of energy? Energy to help awaken others to oh. their abilities. Oh, yes. Mm hmm We 
we've sent we've sent information to Brian mm-hmm. he wants he wants earth to awaken he wants humanity to awaken he thinks he thinks he can help with that mm-hmm. is that how we have connected today because we're on the same type of mission yes mm-hmm. you have to understand by us keeping by us keeping our neutrality we we keep our position mm-hmm. we don't decide who's right here mm-hmm. it's not for us to decide it's for others if Brian wants what Brian wants and he asks for information we deliver information mm-hmm. he just wants what he wants if people on earth want to awaken that's for them to choose they have everything available inside of them mm-hmm. they can access it if they want if they want to bow down to others that's for them to choose how can one access that information that they have inside of them where is it stored it's stored in the universe mm. how do they it's, access what is the portal that we use to get to it it's already there they just block it mm. there's nothing to access it's already there yeah, this language is frustrating <laughs> they they do these things to run around in these circles even though it's already there for them to access to use your language mm-hmm. they refuse it you're scared mm-hmm. you're hurt are humans born that way with that hurt and blockage born into the war mm-hmm. they're born into the war but they choose they choose it now from your point of view this new generation that is being born now do they have a better connection they have an agenda ah. <laughs> that's for sure What's the agenda <laughs> of this new generation? Uh, they want they want it now. Mm. They want it now. They're tired of it going on. Mm-hmm. It's been going on for a long time for them. So what what is the agenda of this new group of young adults and children? Stop the war. Mm-hmm. They have to learn that their war is being fought over them. They're the prize. And our earth, it's not, earth is a host. Earth is the real prize is the humans. Mm-hmm. That's who it's about. That's why everyone is here to see. Everyone is here to fight about. I want to fight over the humans. It's a long story. Mm-hmm. It's an old story. Everyone wants the humans. What happens when they have the humans? What are they fighting over? Besides being a resource? They think that because the humans are creators. The humans are creators. If they tell the humans what to create, they think they can create. You can't create like humans can create. So do humans have different powers? If they would realize it. Mm. 
So as creators, are humans being told they don't have the power? Is that part of the war? war? Yes. Mm -hmm. Things they do to try to control the human. Can you tell me from your point of view, without any judgment, what are the things that they do to control humans that you, from your point of view, understand that this is part of the war? They alter their physics. They give them implants. They, they alter their, the energetic field of the earth. Mm -hmm. All to control the humans. It's affecting all of earth, all over the humans. Everyone wants the human. Who's putting these implants in there? Some of those reptilians are definitely... Mm -hmm. There's... Everyone wants a piece of this fight. Mm -hmm. Is there any way for the humans to deactivate the implants? In clean water. Clean water? They have to clean their water if they want that to happen. Mm -hmm. Clean water helps. Helps it to helps information to flow better. Mm -hmm. Their water is dirty. Is that being done on purpose? Yes, it's so, all being done on purpose. Is there a way that a human can clean their water on their own? <sighs> Brian knows about these things. He knows about the water. Mm -hmm. Maybe he'll be able to tell you. Mm -hmm. What about the energetic field of the earth? How are they changing that? They pulse it. They pulse they it. Pulse it. They pulse it because they don't want the humans to awake. Mm -hmm. They pulse it and they pulse it and they pulse it. They think it works. Maybe it does. Maybe it does. And when they pulse the earth, what do the humans feel? The humans feel their little... They feel less. They feel less, that's what they feel. Mm -hmm. And they're left with their little triflings. Mm -hmm. They're left with all their little triflings. Is that the why so many people feel so depressed? Yes. It's the pulsing? Yes. So it really has nothing to do with the humans. It has to do with the interference yes. of their energy. Yes. Mm -hmm. But they're taking pills now for that. Yes, the pills are bad. What do the pills do? The pills make it worse. Mm. The pills shut it down. They shut it down. Now I've been told that the third eye, the pineal gland, allows us to connect. Is that being tampered with? Oh, yes. With the water. The water. The things they put in the water. Mm -hmm. Shut down all of those antennas. All of those ways that they can connect. Mm -hmm. Shut it down. They shut it down. Now when Brian connects with you, how is that affecting his pineal gland? Yes. We get through what we can. Mm -hmm. It's a dirty, it's a dirty signal. A dirty signal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How can Brian clean up that signal better? Clean his water. Mm -hmm. Meditate. If more humans would just clean their water and meditate, they would probably all be doing, 
They would be a bit happier. Mm -hmm. That would change the earth? Might change them. Mm -hmm. The earth is fine. The earth is fine. The earth is fine. Okay. Do you have any other information for Brian or for me at this time? It's the pulsing. You want to awaken humanity. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't know what the poor humans on Earth can do about it. But mm -hmm. It's the pulsing. It's the pulsing. That's all that we will give. We do not take sides. Okay. Very good. Is there anything else that you would like to tell Brian at this time? No, he already knows. Very good. Thank you, Locke, for all the information you've given us. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Goodbye. So let's take a deep breath in now. And now let's move on to your connection with that inner voice that hexes all the information. Let's connect with the higher self. I'd like to ask you, why is it that you brought Brian here to this session today? Besides connecting with Locke. What does he need to hear today? Just needed reassurance. Mm -hmm. Brian likes reassurance. He likes getting reassurance. Mm -hmm. Here's his reassurance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he seems to have gotten quite a bit of reassurance mm -hmm. with that connection. He gets his reassurance. Mm -hmm. So Everything would you be willing? Okay. Would you be willing to answer his questions today so he can be reassured of what he's doing here on this mission on Earth? We will address questions. Thank you so much. He says he's been on a roll these past few months. Yes. A lot of synchronicities going on. Yes. What can he do to get better at this? To stay meditate. In meditate. Why won't he meditate more? What's keeping him from meditating? He's afraid. What's he afraid of? He's afraid of nothing. Ah. Just Mm hmm So can I ask for guidance on that? So that you can kind of slap him upside the head every once in a while and remind him? Well, he likes getting slapped upside the head. <laughs> remind him that he needs to meditate and clean his water? Meditate. Mm hmm Is there a way that Brian can meditate better? Perhaps using any particular type of music or any type of hobby or something to put him into that state. Focus on the candle flame. Okay. Light a candle and focus on the flame. Mm hmm And that will help him? This builds focus and concentration directly with light. Good. Light is information. Light is everything. Mm -hmm. And when he focuses on that light, is there a certain time of day that he should be doing this? In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Mm -hmm. Good. Now he has questions also, which I think we address. Why did he incarnate on Earth at this time? He wanted to join the party. <laughs> Where was he before that? He was out in space. Mm -hmm. Has he ever incarnated on Earth before? Yes. Yes. So why did he choose this time? Because this is where the party is. Yes, it is. It seems to be that a lot of these souls that have incarnated at this time, like Brian, are finding it hard to be here, though. It's a party, but they don't like the the party goers. Well, it's a party. It's a party. So what can he do in this party to enjoy himself more with the people that are here? He feels very distant. He feels very different from them. He doesn't have a lot of friends staying in his circle. What's going on? That's the party. That's the party? He just needs to meditate. Okay. He's fine. 
Mm-hmm. He just wants his reassurance. Okay. So do you reassure him that the people in his life are supposed to be in his uh, life? Yes. Mm-hmm. They all love him very much. Okay. But he tends to get very drained when he's around people. What's going on with well, him? Maybe if he would meditate, he wouldn't get so drained. Ah. So mm. he needs to build up his reserves? He loses track. Hmm. He loses track. If he would meditate, he wouldn't lose track so much. Okay. So, really the bottom line is he needs to meditate more in order for him to connect more with people? Yes, he's energy. always flitting about. Mm-hmm. Won't sit still. What's causing that? All of his fears of nothing. Hmm. Where did these fears come from? Worries and anxieties of nothing. Mm-hmm. He worries that people won't like him. But they all love him. Here's his reassurance of that. Is this fear manifesting in his body physically in any way? Yes. Oh, how is it manifesting it's for him? all over his face. Mm. So this is the fear that's popping out? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, how can we take care of those little volcanoes of fear? Clean water mm-hmm. and meditate. Okay. Good. He wants to know a little bit about his journey about other incarnations. Can you show him? That's not for him to know at Uh, this time. Ah, okay. So he doesn't need to see any past lives at this time? No. Okay, good. Well, he is, he says that he did take some journeys with plant medicine Mm -hmm. and wants to know if those were beneficial. If he wishes. They were beneficial. They were. Okay, good. Any other information you'd like to give him about that? Meditate. Meditate. Good. As far as work is concerned, he seems to have locked himself into the vision of science and psychology. And he wants to be able to be of service. How can he be of service with this? By talking to others. Mm Mm-hmm. By sharing it with others. Mm-hmm. That's what he's here to do. He is. Maybe he should do it. So he came here to share information? Yes. Mm-hmm. So should he be focused more on hard science or spirituality? He should be focused on sharing with other people. Whatever he finds. Whatever he finds. Mm-hmm. Well, right now he's doing his PhD. And yes. he's not sure where to go. Where to go to... He's where he needs to be. He is. So, he's thinking of going to West Georgia? Yes. That's the place he needs to yes. be? Yes. Okay. Is he receiving this information from, from you, his higher self? He already knows this information. Mm-hmm. We are here to give him his reassurance. Okay, good. Can you reassure him a little bit about how the spirit interfaces with the body? It's the light. It's the light. Okay. You talked about the flame, focusing on the flame. Can yes. you tell me more about this light? Light is spirit. Light is spirit. Our body captures light. It captures the spirit, and the spirit captures the body. It's the light. Mm-hmm. The light is the interface. Okay. When we have this light within our body, does this light ever change? It's changing all the time. Okay. It's light. It's light. So when somebody, for example, is not feeling well, does it mean that the light within them is not as bright? the, The brightness is... The brightness is the... There's no word. There's no word. 
and you give him a concept. This ripples on a pond. Mm -hmm. Ripples on a pond. It's not the amount of water in the pond. It's the ripples on the pond. Adding water to a dead pond doesn't help the pond. Adding the right ripples does. So it's like a vibration, a frequency? It's a vibration. Mm -hmm. It's a vibration. Okay. So when we are low vibration? We're out of tune. Mm, okay. And tune your instrument with meditation. And clean it with water. So we need to drink a lot of water. Drink clean water. Clean water. Now, sometimes he's not feeling very happy. He has low energy. Does he need to then tune his instrument? That's only when he's running from what he should be doing. Ah, okay. And then he gets all down because he doesn't want to do what he already agreed to do. Mm hmm So no wonder he can't find any energy when he does that. Now, when you say he's running from what he agreed to do, are we talking about his agreement to help the earth? Yes. Okay. When is it that he's running away from it? And he wants to sit and be alone and be miserable and not do anything. Mm. Of course he will feel down. What else would he expect? Mm -hmm. So you're pretty much saying that he needs to be out there with people. He needs to be out there with people. Mm -hmm. Is that why he was feeling so blissful when he was doing his music and connecting with people? Music. His music teaches him how to channel energy. Mm -hmm. That was what he learned. So why is he not doing his music anymore? Why was he... He's still doing his music. Okay. He has other things he's doing too. Okay. He needs to keep doing his music. Should that music go out there also to the masses? Yes. Mm -hmm. And he hides it away. He won't let people hear it. Hmm. He should share it. So that music really needs to be released. Yes. It came from... Yes. It came from the divine? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. And that music will change yes. the frequency of people. Everyone who hears it. Okay. Good. Thank you so much. Now we talk about the body as far as the frequency and doing what he needs to do and talking about water. What about food? What should he be feeding his body? Leafy greens. Leafy greens. But he tells me that he is too tired to make himself breakfast or make himself the meal. Well, then he should get up and make himself the meal. <laughs> Can he get some assistance from that? Meditate. Meditate. Okay. Once he starts meditating, he will be able to get himself up out of it. Yes. Bed. Okay. Good. Dandruff. Is that the same as the... It's the same. It's the same thing. So it's... it's the same. Everything's coming out of him. All of, all of his... All of his anxious thoughts mm. just explode out of his head. Ah, so that's really what it's all about. Yes. Okay, good, good. So we know that once he starts meditating, he'll be okay. Yes. Why is it that he's not found the love of his life? It's not time. No time for that? No time right now. It's not time yet. Is there somebody in the future? Yes. Okay, but not to worry. Don't worry. Okay, good. Now, he has a notion that he's here to be a teacher. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yes. So what is he supposed to be doing as a teacher? What should he be teaching? He already knows all of that. That's what he's doing. What he's doing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, he tells me that he is thinking mm -hmm. whether he should be doing his thesis or she, he should be writing books. He should be talking to people. Talking to people. That's what he should be doing more of. 
Okay. So not hiding out. Not hiding out. Mm -hmm. Talking to people. Okay. And when he talks to people, well, should he be talking about all of these things? Yes. Okay. Good. And will his thesis come to him? Yes. Because right now he feels a little blocked. He doesn't know what well, audience. Well, he's not talking to them. <laughs> what audience should he be writing his thesis about? The people who listen to him when he talks. To okay. Him. So it doesn't really matter. They will come. Okay. So it's kind of like if you build it, they will come. It's the same thing. If he will speak, they will come too. Yes. All right. Good. One of the things he's working on right now is Swan's Files. Yes. Is it right to publish them? Yes. Okay. Does he have his permission? Yes. Okay. Is Swan in communication with him? Yes. Okay. Is there a message that Swan wants to give him today? He's already given it to he him. He is. Yeah. Anything else that he would like to say? If he would like to ask anything, mm -hmm. he can simply ask. All right. Are we prepared to have Swan answer any of his questions today? No. No. Okay. Is there anything else that he needs to know about publishing his work today? He already knows. He does. Yeah. What, can I, what kind of connection does he have with Swan? Do they know each other before? Do they have the same mission? Same soul group. Same soul group. Same soul group. Okay. So they kind of knew each other before. Yes. All right. Was there an agreement between them that he would publish his work? Yes. Okay. Good. Good. So he I've, could not. So Brian will. Oh, okay. So Brian kind of is taking over his work. To help, in getting, to help finish. To help finish. And, to help finish what he could. And bring that information out. Yes. Good. Are there any other questions that I didn't ask that you would like to give Brian today? The reason why you brought him here, what he needs to know about his mission, his future? He knows all that he needs to know. Mm -hmm. But he wants to be reassured, and I'm sure. We brought him here to give him his reassurance. <laughs> and now he knows more of his connections. Mm -hmm. He's a highly connected soul. He's a highly connected soul. He has many connections. Mm -hmm. Are there any other agreements that he made besides these, this group and the spaceship? Yes, but they are not for him to know at this time. Okay. So would you recommend that at a later date, Brian connect again in this way or another yes, way? Yes, when, when he's ready. When he's ready. Good. Could you tell Brian who else is working with him? No. He doesn't need to know? No. Okay. Can you tell him how he best connect with you when he's not in meditation? Right. To write. To write. Automatic writing. All right. So he will be able to connect with you as soon as he starts writing. Yes. Does he need to write with a pen or does can he do it a on pen. a computer? A pen. A pen. All right. With his hand. With his hand. So does he need to put himself into meditation before he does this? It will happen when he starts writing. Okay. Good. So his work needs to be done in writing. Yes. Good. Is there anything else that you would like to tell Brian or myself or anybody else? Meditate. Meditate. Everyone needs to meditate. Very good. Are we complete today? Yes. Very good. Thank you so much. I'd like to appreciate, I appreciate all of the work that you've done for him and also those that are working with him on his energy field. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes. Welcome back. Hello. Wow. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable, huh? Jeez. How does your body feel? I feel great. Feel good? Yeah, yeah. Was that what you expected? <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. I wasn't expecting that, uh, the first part of it. Wow. Interesting, huh? Yeah. How vividly did you see that? It was um, 
it came in a flash mm. in the beginning and then um when we started talking more it was just this like very raw kind of direct feeling there wasn't as much vision it was just this feeling mm -hmm. and um <sighs> this being was pretty strong huh yeah it's like we don't judge yeah 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 he, but uh, you felt the pain yeah yeah it felt like they had all this compassion mm -hmm. and, and that like they saw all the suffering here mm -hmm. but it's like um they understood that their way to help was not to intervene you know like not to fight not to wow. not to do that and um and it, it felt like they wanted to but they know they can't mm -hmm. because of free will yeah mm -hmm. yeah did you get a feeling that there were many others on the same mission as them some some it didn't mm -hmm. feel like many it didn't feel like but, tons but, but, but definitely were, yeah yeah definitely others so there are other yeah. compassionate out there yeah. watching to yeah. see what we do yeah and they're basically saying meditate <laughs> yeah. that was the big yeah yeah you have, to, <laughs> you have to find time to meditate yeah yeah you have to and with you you were given the direction to stare into the flame of a, of candle. a candle yeah have you done that before mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that's I've, your I've, way i've used that before and it's a it works for you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they're saying you have to clean the water <laughs> did you get an idea of how the cleaning of the water would be was it distilling the water or what it's it's like related do you know wilhelm reich mm -hmm. i've heard it's, of the name it's it? it's related to like uh wilhelm reich and victor schauberger and this whole science of water and, mm. and how to you you like spin it. you spin it in a mm -hmm. vortex yes and because water's a lot yeah so you need to you need to put some life yeah, into it yeah yeah you have to put some life into it mm. you get it from you get it from a from a well from a stream you it's get alive. you get living water mm -hmm. that's that's what they mean so we're basically drinking dead water we're all drinking dead water yeah dead polluted water yeah so we need to i'm sure part of your science is mm -hmm. getting out there and getting people to liven up their water mm -hmm. put more life and, and, water. and making sense of like what's going on there with the water because we're not drinking anything that's giving us life yeah yeah just drinking bottled water doesn't do anything no. for what they were talking about wow doesn't so this is what the information that they're putting through you that you're accessing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you need to tell me people about it <laughs> Mm -hmm. so yeah. now you've been giving yeah, I guess. another mission <laughs> <laughs> yeah another mission is like okay well you signed up for this one now you yeah. have to sign up for the yeah 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 you yeah. gotta be the spokesperson <laughs> yeah yeah how does that make you feel uh, it's, uh, it, uh, how many times did they say that i already knew i already knew right <laughs> <laughs> So you know what your mission is. Yeah. You just haven't done it. I, I'm, 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 I'm doing it. I'm just. So do you think that maybe this session will be the catalyst to do more? Yeah, to continue on with it. Yeah. yeah great. Yeah. Is yeah. this a session that you want to share with others? You think it has information that would help them? Yeah. You do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's nothing can... really personal. Yeah. No. There's nothing. <laughs> there's nothing. Nothing in there except personal. So. No. Except yeah. the fact that you already know all this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and the part about you, about your, yeah. your face. Yeah, oh my God. But that is, you know. I felt it. it when, you, when, uh, it? when, uh, when my higher self was saying it, I felt it. Coming out? I felt how it was just like, yeah. like just exploding, exploding out. And you're not the only one who comes here with issues about their body like yeah. that. Yeah. And it's like everything's trying to get out. It's, of it's energy. It's all yes. energy. Because mm -hmm. I've tried so many different like face washes and shampoos and stuff, you know. Meditate. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you get rid of your acne? <laughs> you meditate. meditate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Brian, that was a really interesting session. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Um, I, I, 
I don't know. I felt um, I felt like I was vibrating when mm-hmm. when Locke was coming through. Yeah. It it felt like my my skeleton was like vibrating with energy. Wow. And the more it was like the more the connection was was, was unbelievable, coming. huh? It was wild. And Locke was. I mean, you felt the pain. I mean, we were mm-hmm. feeling the pain of the earth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it felt like they felt the pain yes. of the earth. So um, these are very compassionate beings. Compassionate on this, like, really high level. Mm-hmm. On a level that goes way beyond, like, individual souls. Mm-hmm. Wow. But on, like, on like a, like a cosmological level. Wow. Like, they, they, they said that they, you know, were in service to the entire universe. <sighs> It wasn't just um, like it wasn't just Earth or, or 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 something like that. And you signed up for this. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> so you, yeah. you know, we, we talked a little bit about bef- before we started here that you felt very different from other people. Mm-hmm. Now, can you understand why? Yeah. You've a, been picked. A little bit. Yeah. You were one well, of three thousand. I picked. You picked them. I picked them, or something. Mm-hmm. And Locke takes care of 3,000 that he's channeling information to. Mm -hmm. And you're supposed to be talking about this information. Mm -hmm. So what is some of the information that is coming through that you need to share? It has to do with the the physics of of life, which is like the physics of of the spirit. Wow. And and how, um, what life is. And, and, and how life works. I mean, I've been studying this physics of how life is essentially um, this form of coherent light, and that was mm. that was what they were a lot of what they were talking. That about. light is yeah. that's why light was so important. That yeah. we are light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we talked about water, mm-hmm. and I'm noticing that you're drinking from a very interesting. <clears throat> Yeah, it's this copper container. This, this copper vessel. This is, yes. I got this from like Ayurvedic. So she medicine. pull it up a little bit so that you, that we could see. Yeah, it's very see. interesting. Most yeah. people walk around with plastic bottles. Yeah, and the copper uh, is supposed to increase the conductivity of the water mm. somehow, and um, and that increases the ability for your. Um, it's like the more the more healthy you are, mm-hmm. the more coherent your light is in, that in, in your physical body, like wow. in the physics of it. Mm-hmm. And water plays a huge role in that because water surrounds all your membranes, all of your molecules. All you are water. Yeah, it's conducting the light and it's conducting the electricity ah. and the information. So by meditating, <clears throat> we're connecting. Mm-hmm. By drinking water. Mm-hmm. We're allowing the body. Yeah, yeah. And by meditating, it stills the pond. Ah. That was that. Uh, some one of them was searching for a word at one point. And they were really and frustrated, <laughs> like this yeah, language, yeah, yeah, this yeah. language, because I think they're used to just like downloading things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it, it was it was it was interesting because it was like I would I would get this direct download. Uh-huh. And then there was this other part of my mind that was searching for the words <laughs> while like keeping the the direct download. And then there's like the third part of my mind that's just like, holy. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a good way of describing hypnosis. Yeah. Is you're like in different parts, and do you feel that you were hypnotized? Yeah. How yeah. did it feel to it's, you? Um, I felt like just felt like stuff was coming out. I mean, it, it didn't. Uh, it didn't feel like a like a connection in some sort of traditional sense. Yeah. It just it just, just flowed. It just felt like like a flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. what it feels like. It's not sleep. It doesn't feel at all like sleep. You're awake. Oh, I was very awake. Mm-hmm. So I, I was like when when Locke was speaking. I was I was. Uh, I, I don't know if you could see it, but I was like vibrating under the blanket. <laughs> That happens a lot to people. And then it, and it, it was wild. And then right when you when you close the connection, it stopped. Isn't that wild? So, yeah, I was far from sleep. <laughs> so, out of this experience, what would you like to tell everybody? Meditate. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, you know, meditate and just don't be afraid. 
And that all of this so, yeah. is your fear. Oh, yeah. All of these little yeah. fears, because yeah. you were basically told you have all these little silly fears out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. When, when they brought that up, I, I could feel it. I could feel, like, how all of my little of my little trifling anxieties were exploding out of my head in like dandruff and, and acne. Isn't that interesting? It, it was like really visceral. So now do you understand that you really have control of that mm -hmm. just by stilling the pond, yeah. which is meditating, Yeah. yeah. not it's worrying about pond. all this crazy stuff? Yeah. yeah. Because when you're in the flow of this energy, there's really nothing to worry about. Yeah. That's what... That's what Locke was trying to say, I think, at the beginning, very beginning. Mm -hmm. It's like this flow is just, I, I, I kind of felt it like bliss. You're just mm -hmm. in the flow. I think, I think the kind of experience of bliss is that's like the effect that you get yeah. when you tap into the flow of it. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and it's, always, it's always there. If we want to tap into it. And you know what was really what was, uh, I was trying to get more information, but. Locke was kind of locking, um, <laughs> blocking, <clears throat> was how powerful we really are. Mm -hmm. It's like we are so different humans. Yeah. That We're was, so powerful yeah, that, that that's why everybody wants a piece of us. Yeah. That was like the thing that was so apparent. Yeah. The, and, and like what I was getting was like the, f like, Everyone want everyone wants peace with us, like you said. Yeah. There's like this huge fight because over, we are creators over the humans, over what we're going to turn into, what we're going to evolve into. Mm -hmm. So it's really, really important for us to use our power, really, to make the changes because no one's going to do it for us. It's it's they're all watching to see what these creators will do. Yeah, yeah, it's up to us. So no one's going to come in and rescue us. They're all watching. Yeah, they're all they front. Can't. They're all front row seats watching. But yeah. it's up to us to make, to make the change. Yeah. I think that's what I really got from it. It's like, no, no, we're not going in there rescuing you. You're the ones who yeah, are the they, creators. You're the ones can't. that. Well, like part of the picture I got is that is like that's how things got so bad. Was everyone kept trying to rescue? Everyone kept trying to like do what they thought was best. And 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 it. And it has yeah. been going on like that for, for a really, really long time. Yeah. And that's why Locke and his... Because I could like feel this, this really deep compassion mm. from them and wanting things to be different, but like knowing that it would make things worse if, if they yeah. intervened, and yeah. that's why they don't. Wow. <clears throat> Amazing session. It was short and sweet, but boy, very <laughs> powerful. So do you recommend this experience? Yeah. Yeah, you think you're going to have something like this again when you're... Maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, uh, I mean, I, I got led here. Yeah. So I, I just yeah. got kind of led you're here. One of so. the, you're one of the lucky ones that... <laughs> yeah. He, he, he got it during a cancellation. So when I put out my newsletter that there was a cancellation, you just got it. Yeah, and I got that like two days after I signed up for the newsletter... Uh, hoping to catch you while you were in town. Isn't so that, that something? So when you put your intention yeah. out there, if it's meant for you, you're going to be there. Yeah. So a lot of these people say, "What's what are the odds? Well, if you're not here yet, it's probably because you have some work to do. It's not the right time. Yeah, it's like it's not a matter of odds. It's, no. Uh, it's, it's all timing. It's all timing. Yeah. I, I think of it as the escalator. Until that step is ready for you, you don't take that step. Yeah. And you know, when it's the right time, the step will come and you step up. And that's really what it's like to have a session. When it's your time, it's going to be the right time. Yeah. So thank you for watching. If you want to get a hold of me, just go to my website, albawyman.com. The only way that I book my appointments is via the newsletter. So sign up just like Brian did. And you will get a newsletter about once a month telling you when I have an opening. Before I used to have those openings like into the in, way into the next year. Right now, we're only booking a little bit at a time just so I could keep my own sanity. And, uh, <laughs> and so when you get that newsletter, click on those links right away. And I hope you enjoyed this session. I certainly did. And I learned quite a bit. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. Give me that hug now. Mm. <laughs>